area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. And I'll give you ladies something to shake the beefy cheeks to. You hear me? I'm a devil type of sandwich, very sexy, I'm a manish. Looking for some beefy shorty, shaking Mr. Beefy. Throw that coochie pussy, if you feed me, I'ma eat it. Just don't play no games, if you do it, I'ma beat it. Yeah, Mr. Beefy. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Let it click and blam. Hit your man. Follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Rare Breed Entertainment, max out two. Max out two. Salute to um, Rare Breed Entertainment. Salute to ARP. All the artists that are on the card, things like that, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You got some 1SKs. Corleone, Jazz Kizzle versus Jay Geans, Rubber Tongue versus Coach, Lady Tunes versus Raw Image. A lot of new guys, you know what I'm saying? A lot of new guys getting a chance to battle on a pretty big card, you know what I'm saying? I haven't seen a lot of these cats before, I'm not even gonna hold you. Um, but then the main card, Hitman Holler versus Calico, Daylight versus King Los, Ill Will versus Jag, Rosenberg Raw versus A Ward, Big K versus X Factor um, going down July 11th Rare Breed Entertainment pay-per-view I have said that I'm going to give out two or three pay-per-views if you don't believe me you can check the files I've done it before all you have to do is follow the kid on IG Vada underscore fly you've been asking me for a gram all these years I ain't really had one but now I got one for you what you gonna do you gonna follow it or you're not you know what I'm saying I'm not bad it is what it is but so check this out uh, for the one SKs, I don't have winners. I ain't seen y'all enough. I ain't got it for you. It is what it is. Um, it's at the Believe Music Hall. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold is having an event at the Believe Music Hall. Do you believe? Do you believe? That's why he says, do you believe? Because it's at the Believe Music Hall. Doors open at noon. Pay-per-view starts at one. We're going to see if the pay-per-view actually starts at one. That's another thing. Um, Rarebreed.com for the tickets and things like that. But uh, let's get into the card. Uh, Big K versus X Factor. Don't got much. Uh, Big K 2 1. Moving on. Rosenberg Raw versus A Ward. Now, these two have been going back and forth. Rosenberg Raw comes off of a battle with Show Off, where uh, he kind of, he, he, not, not he kind of, he got Show Off about it here. That was the battle where I kill him with a word like. <laughs> I kill him with a word like pulverize. Pulverize. You not on this card show off, and the reason why you not on this card is probably because of that ball. You gotta sit out. When you do something like that, so you gotta sit down a card, son. You gotta sit, you gotta sit down for an event. You like you cannot be on the next joint after you just said pull ver. He thought that shit was hot. I don't just blame show off, you know what I'm saying? I blame the niggas who he sparred with, the niggas who heard them rounds, and let him go out there and say that shit. I blame y'all. I don't hit play. Rise. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> that was some crazy shit. Uh, Rosenberg Raw versus A Ward. Uh, so, Rosenberg Raw is a staple in rare breed entertainment. He's built himself from the ground up. He's been able to, uh, you know, defy the odds. A lot of people felt like his career was over, that he wasn't gonna really excel like that. And he came back and he had a lot of dope battles, you know what I'm saying? He's battling A Ward, who, you know, a lot of people feel like is one of them front runners for 2021. You know what I mean? He's taking A Ward is taking a lot of battles. He's got a lot of battles in June and July. From what I see, he's got Rosenberg Raw, he's got Fonz, he's got Ryder, uh, he's got Charlie Clips. He's got a lot of fucking battles. He's got and the thing is I don't hope for it, but when people battle at such a repetitive pace, one of these joints, they're gonna get clipped. Somebody's gonna catch them. This happened to Danny Myers. This happened to a lot of folks. When they take a lot of joints like this, back, 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 like that, they get caught and they get Ricky shotgun in the alley. But um, I do feel like Rosenberg Raw, while he does have a talent and while he does have skills, 
Awar's lyrical ability and what he's been able to do, he just battled Shotgun and Suge like yesterday and he beat him. But Shotgun and Suge only came with two rounds. Um, I do have Award winning this battle 2-1. Uh, now Rosenberg Raw can prove a lot of people wrong. Uh, I have no problem jumping on camera again if he does get it. Uh, but what Rosenberg Raw has to do is he has to be able to punch and angle at a high level in order to get past the writing skills of A-Word, because A-Word is just going to be able to just wrap circles around a lot of folks. So, I do like Rosenberg Raw based off the setting, based off of what, what goes on. But see, the thing is, in Max Out 1, they both had phenomenal performances. They actually had two of the best performances on the card. A-Word versus Ill Will, fire debatable. Rosenberg Raw with a 3-0. Um, so, that that, that, that that leaves a lot to be... Uh, a lot to be thought about, but I like the battle a lot. Um, I'm pulling for Rosenberg Roar. I hope he does his thing. I hope A-Ward does too, you know what I'm saying? Next, Ill Will versus Jag. I'm a real blood. You don't feel blood? I make you spill blood. It drip drop on the ground and acts if it's real blood. You ain't no real blood. Like, I like, salute to Jag, you know what I'm saying? I rock with Jag and everything that he's got going on. Uh, he's got bars. He did his thing versus O Red. I feel like Jag is having one of the best transitions to battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Like I know he's getting the phone calls. I know a lot of people want Jag on their platforms. I'm sure URL is trying to make them calls for Jag too. That Jag versus Shotgun Show is a battle that a lot of people still want to see. Uh, Jag did his thing versus 40. Jag did his thing versus Mav. Jag beat O Red, and now Jag battles Ill Will. But the thing about Ill Will, bro, come here, let me holler at you, blood. Ill Will's not who you think he is, blood. You know what I'm saying? Like, Ill Will. Ill Will's one of them ones that Ill Will beats the best of them. He don't... This is not one of them, I'm just going to come in here, Ill Will's going to bullshit and let me get a win-win. That just don't happen with Ill Will. Like, I've said this shit before with 40 Cap. Like, you don't... Ill Will's not a nigga you just run through the mill with. Like, he can freestyle. He can rebuttal. He, he's going to joke on you. He's already... You've seen him using the... Uh, sounding like you in some of the previews and all of that. What you think is going to happen in the battle? Um, Jag, like I said, he's a, he, he's a, I'm not going to say he's a microwave battler. He's more like an oven. Like sometimes in the battle in the first round, he has like a preheat round. And I don't know why he be doing that sometimes. His battle versus Old Red, his first round was like, you know, you put the oven on preheat and you have to wait like five minutes for it to actually get to the temperature. He's the, ooh, that's fire. Ooh, wow. I just came up with that shit, like, for real, my nigga. Like, I be surprising myself sometimes. But, yeah, Jag has to preheat sometimes, and he did it versus Old Red, then he heated up in the second and third and won the battle. Ill Will's not a nigga. You, you can't preheat with Ill Will, because by the time you preheat, you're going to be down 1-0. You're going to be down. You're going you, you're gonna to be down 1-0. And then if you're thinking you're going to be Ill Will in two straight rounds after going down 1-0, it's not going to happen. You're going to lose. Um, I do like the tenacity, and I do like the skill power that Jag has, but in this one in particular, the pose is 90 to 10. I mean, like, what do you want me to do? The pose is 90 to 10. I, I can't go against that. Like, I got I got Ill Will winning 2-1. I'm not going to say Ill Will going to 30-ball him. He could. <laughs> I mean, we're not going to act like he couldn't. We're not going to act that way. We're not going to act like he couldn't. He very well can 30-ball you, Jag. I'm just saying this Ill Will we're talking about, so in order to keep it a buck, I gotta be honest. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can 30 ball you, but I got Ill Will winning 2 1. Clear, 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 clear. And I've heard Jag's material, not for this battle, but in some other battles, and I thought, you know, he's been, you know, he's been he's been getting better. I'm not gonna hold you, he's been getting better, but Ill Will is a hell of a test. If he beats, man, listen, if Jag beat Ill Will, then that mofo here, he's here to stay anyway. But if he be ill will, oh no, 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 no. Then he's gonna really be in a position to talk the shit that he taught. And I respect him doing it now because he's won a lot of his battles. He don't be getting beat like that. And in battle rap, it's been the whole narrative for the last week that wins and losses don't really matter. I've been telling y'all that wins and losses don't really matter. Y'all act like this is new. Nobody cares, but the only people that care about the wins and losses is probably some of the fans, and then we recap them. We do, you know, this person won, this person lost, but nobody really gives a fuck. As long as the person's putting on performances that fans want to see, they're going to keep getting booked. Wins and losses don't matter. If wins, won if wins matter, 
We see people like Excel win more often. Excel wins damn near all his battles. Excel beat Awar. You know what I'm saying? Like, wins and losses don't matter. It's a whole bunch of other shit that matters for some reason. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but I don't got no league. I really don't give a fuck. I pay my bills by talking shit like this here. So it don't really matter to me. You know what I'm saying? As long as the battles is happening. I tell you who won or who I felt like lost, but it don't really matter. Um, Daylight. So I got, uh, I got Ill Will. 2-1, clear. If not 30, I'm sorry. It's just ill will. Daylight versus King Los. Uh, Daylight is a very talented individual. You know, he had his last battle versus Tay Rock. He hasn't battled in quite some time. I'm actually glad that he's battling against King Los, somebody he was supposed to battle two, three years ago, and it didn't happen. But now it's like Daylight has to show us whether it's barbecue or mildew from that performance versus Tay Rock. Like, you did your thing versus Tay Rock. Crazy. You know, crazy lyrical, one of the best three round performances ever, but you can't live off of that forever. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not a that's not a that's not a whole house worth of her house worth of shit. Like Battle Rap moved on. It's been a hundred events since then and we have not seen daylight. I know he's got the music thing going on. I know there was supposed to be a battle between him and Shine. All this other shit. It just didn't happen. So now we're seeing him versus King Lowe's. In a battle versus King Lowe's, who's very lyrical, first time I've seen him battle recently was versus Head Ice, he beat Head Ice, uh, he comes back versus Daylight. Lowe's is going to be more of a challenge to Daylight than a lot of us think. He's going to be able to write on a high level. He's got a very, very complex pen. He's able to go in out of different pockets of flows. Uh, you better have your th thesaurus and your dictionary ready for this battle. The only thing that may take away from this joint is the fact that it's on a big stage. Is, is motherfuckers gonna really be able to receive all that material without fucking up the battle? That's the biggest concern for me. Y'all niggas don't fuck this one up. Like, like for real. We really, really, really need to ingest these lyrics. And y'all niggas, please, please, please. Y'all gonna mess up something. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. But, yo, y'all, let, let, us, let us get this. This is like a Thanksgiving day for lyricists. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know y'all niggas might not view me as such a lyrical, lyrical, miracle, spiritual, critical, pitiful. That's more showtime with the supreme breakdowns, but I, I, I do my thing too, you know what I'm saying? Like I got, I got, I got sauce. I'm not here with 70,000 subscribers and 30 million views for no reason. Like niggas, you know what I'm saying? I got some sauce too. I know y'all probably push me over to the swag bag, the goods, the goods lane and all, but I, I like some lyrics too is what I'm going to say, you know what I'm saying? I like, I like some bars, I like some metaphors, I like some double entendres, I like some rebuttals, I like all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, let us eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we need to feast on a good battle with some bars. Um, with that being said, I got Daylight winning, 2-1. I don't have Daylight with clean sweep, I just feel like Los is able to bring some fire material. Daylight been sitting on shit for like a year though, so I mean, and then he was supposed to battle King Los. And then he spit bars that he had in the battle. And then he's able to entendre the entendre, monster, monster, entendre, entendre. Like, he's able to do all of that shit. Uh, Daylight's a very hard MC to beat. If it happens, it happens. I'm not going to be surprised. Um, Hitman Holla versus Calico. The energy is there. Hitman Holla is coming off a battle with Cassidy that... Cassidy had more fans telling them that, that, they, that they felt like he won than, than probably Hitman liked. You know what I'm saying, per se, because my thing is this, like, I'm not saying, I felt like Hitman, you know what I'm saying, did his thing versus Cass, but the crowd, to me, like, that was a determining factor in that battle, the crowd was not really receiving it well, but Hitman Holla spun the block and battle again on the next card, I know ARP, I watched his blog earlier, salute to everything that he's got going on, uh, he may not say it straight up, because, you know, he's the league owner, I'm not the league owner, I can say what the fuck I want. Hitman is battling to put this Cassidy battle behind him. That's what he's doing. He's putting this one. Like, yo, if I get this performance versus Hitman out the way, I can put this battle behind me and people can, like, release the narrative. If he 3 0s. I watched um, ARP's blog this morning. Uh, he was talking about um, who, who the loss means more to and shit like that. Uh, this loss, to me, would mean more to Hitman than Calico because niggas is going to be in Hitman's bag if he don't get past Calico or at least make it respectable or commendable to where niggas is like, yo, it's a classic. Yo, it's one of them joints. Yo, this battle was crazy. If it ain't that, if that ain't this and this ain't that, oh, niggas is gonna go crazy. Oh, no, 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 
don't know. You got hard luck. Like I said, I got a venti dragon fruit lemonade from Starbucks. All oh, shut. Hey, man. If you know like I know, you do not want to let Calico walk, dog walk you. Or walk through this battle and leave unscarred. If he leaves unscarred or unfazed, that shit's gonna, it's going to be up. I'm telling you, it's going to be up. Um, but it's very interesting. Uh, Hitman, with his back is against the wall, he's able to apply pressure. He's beat a lot of the big name stars. He's got past, he's got through many wars. You know what I'm saying? Like, when it comes to battle rap, Hitman's one of the kings. Like, he's one of the kings of battle rap. With all that being said, I got Calico 2 1. I just seen Calico versus Aver. Calico got past Aver. Calico's able to little bro you. Like, he can, you know, where was you at when I was here? What was this when I was that? When I was packing, while like, you was wilding out, I was doing this. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that shit resonates well, especially in front of big crowds. Now, Hitman Holler can win this battle, and if he does, I give him his props, give him his admiration, and jump right back in front of this camera, which I will be in with my guy Showtime SP in a couple weeks. I said in the last blog, I'm gonna say to everyone, because people keep asking me about it, and give him his props and admiration for it. But when I look at it from the outside looking in, uh, I definitely have Calico. You know what I'm saying? And based off the face off, based off all the talk and shit like that. Um, overall, dope card. I dope, 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 dope card. Definitely something to do. Definitely something that I'm going to be peeping. You know what I'm saying? Uh, up and down. I don't really got no problems with, 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 with any other one in this cage. You know what I'm saying? It's good to see new guys, see new talent. You know what I'm saying? And if somebody has a superstar performance there, we'll talk about that too. But um, other than that, salute to ARP. Salute to everybody that watches this content. You know, click and blame, follow me on Instagram. You know, I'll be giving away a couple pay per views myself. It is what it is. Now give you ladies something to shake the beefy cheeks to. You hear me? I'm a different type of sandwich, very sexy. I'm a manish. Looking for some beefy shorty shaking, Mr. Beefy. Throw that coochie pussy if you feed me, I'ma eat it. Just don't play no games if you do it, I'ma beat it. Yeah, Mr.